Hello friends, and welcome back to DK64. Well, we're about halfway through World 5 now. We're just gonna make our way over to one of the last main sections of the level, which was actually the first one I explored. I'm just trying to think, yeah, it was DK that I wanted to start with. But yes, we are gonna make our way over to what is I call Warp Area 1. I think I've taken care of all the elements of uh, the Mushroom Tower area here, Warp Area 3. And eventually, we will turn it tonight, but we still have some things we can do in the daytime. So let's just make our way back over there. I know there was something I could do with DK right off the bat. So let's get started. So we're back here again. As you can see, there's levers over there, so now I've gotta be uh, ready to uh, tackle a puzzle. Uh, remember these uh, question mark boxes, so I'm gonna go ahead to get that opened up. There we go. Does that open up the door? Yes. Okay, so I definitely needed that. Is the number code... Oh, is the number code in this spot? Oh, what was the code? So, in another spot in this barn here is the number code. But I need to remember what that number code is. Is it? Oh, there it is. It's right there. I can see it. I saw like 211... 21132. Okay. Works for me. Thankfully, there's not like an arcade machine in front of each of these. That means I'd have to play like a certain level of Donkey Kong Arcade again. Ugh. I, I hope I can stay far away from that arcade as much as possible now. After having gone through what I did. <laughs> Last one, I think, was two. Now this... Yes. Gets the conveyor belt started. Now, unfortunately, that is in a nighttime spot. So I will have to turn the clock eventually. Okay, but now we have the conveyor belt started. And we have our old friends, the Steel Kegs from the Donkey Kong Country games. What do you think happens? We do. Okay, we have to turn that on. That makes sense. So I think that's something I will eventually be able to do. Is there not a... Oh, ouch. Yes. There was a spot that I could open up with Chunky, so I'm gonna go do that. That might be the the hint that I need. Uh, okay, and Lanky will get on top of this place eventually. But now it's time to smack ourselves into the back way. That's not a ground pound, that's a primate punch. My goodness, you almost have a hundred! I think I even saw the other batch of five hiding somewhere. Okay, what gets started? That is the water wheel, okay. Ah, that's what starts up the grinder, okay. So now we can do what I was originally going to do. Okay, now Tiny can get into here eventually. She will have to do something in here at night. But good thing I noticed this first. So now she can get in here at night. Because funnily enough, the main entrance to this place is closed at night, so you do have to look for other ways around. Okay, well I didn't immediately see another bunch of green bananas. Hopefully I haven't missed something by an entrance, which I'm actually certain I might have uh, done. So I am 
Gonna do something funny here just to get rid of that earworm. I'm gonna go back to the mushroom and I'm gonna climb up to the spot where Chunky can get, uh... Oh, that even brings the rain with me. Uh, so that Chunky can check in that one section and see, like, okay. Is that where the last batch of five is located? Because I, I shortcutted getting to the... Uh, to the platform with the blueprint on it, but I certainly didn't come in through the front door. Now, we are certainly going to make this easy for ourselves. And we're going to take the easy way up. There we go. Now, I just have to make sure I don't fall down. There we go. It's exactly the level I want it to be at. So the door... Aha! I was right! Which way? That looks to be a wall with solid platforming. My goodness, I was smart. So there we go. Chunky now officially has every banana in Jungle Japes, which is amazing. Still so much exploration to do, and I've already gotten all of the mini green bananas. That is kind of amazing. Okay. Well, we're just gonna take advantage of the Tag Barrel's ability to restore health, and also do a quick Kong switch. Alright, so there is... There is enough to do in the Central Tower, or... I wouldn't call it Central Tower. Farm, I guess. Farmhouse. Uh, that turning it tonight would be warranted, but... We are just gonna keep it as is for now. Now Lanky can head on up the tower here. There are some mini bananas in the river. I will get those eventually. Okay, looks like I will have to come up here with night uh, nighttime being active again. Ah yes, I can. Also do that. There we go. Now there should be... Is that a lanky switch? Nope, that is a diddy switch. Okay, good to know. Also another nighttime door. Okay, so plenty of things starting to say nighttime now. There's a tag barrel. There's a tag barrel. I think Diddy also can do something over there, too. Uh, I am gonna do... Good thing I saw that. What, uh, red. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. Almost another banana metal. Well, we can hand in a few blueprints now. Why not? So yeah, we will have to do some work nighttime in the farmhouse there. I do want to uh, get Chunky's uh, one remaining puzzle figured out, which is just, uh, shall we say, malfunctioning the grinder unit. But we got that one taken care of. And then uh, we should be good for just doing uh, nighttime related things. Seems like everyone except Chunky is gonna have something to do there. Uh, so then there was Lanky and Tiny. I think I... I still have to find a chunky blueprint. No, wait, no, of course not. That's the spot that I just went to. My goodness how my memory fades. Also, I just realized, once again, it is Donkey Kong's blueprint that is the last one I find. It always seems to be that DK's blueprint is in the hardest to reach locations, and I at least know where it is. But it is still a little out of the ways. Let's now do tiny. Uh, 
Now this should put me, what was it, 125, 126? Hundred twenty seven. Seventy four more bananas left to get in the game, and that is counting the two hundred and first banana. But seventy four more to collect. We are making some really good headways towards the completed total. I like that. So we'll get this, we'll head back over to the farmhouse, and then it might be a good idea to turn things to night. Alright. Okay, so the wheel stopped. Is that a good sign or a bad sign? Oh. That might be a sign. Hang on. Because I noticed it was doing all that rain there, so maybe I have to stay as chunky to do this. Let's find out. I need that uh, grinder moving in order for me to actually, like, deal damage. So maybe as long as I don't leave the area, I can uh, keep that thing active. I don't think I've ever really paid attention to it. Well, anyways, back around we go. Now, let's cause some damage. So we do just have to put three of these barrels into the pathway of destruction. Ouch, as I stand in the pathway of destruction. Now, I think, I think the game intends for me to bring one of the barrels around so that I have a third. We'll find out. That'd be a little bit too much of a stretch there. I could have just overlooked one. This doesn't seem like the answer, but I'm going to guess it is. It is the answer. Well, well. I am starting to remember the minor details. Alright. Or, I guess not. But that is one way to do it, I guess. Awesome. Chunky is now finished. Blueprints, bananas, and golden bananas. Way to go. It's always good when one Kong gets completely finished. Okay, uh, who do I go with next? I'm gonna check Diddy Kong here real fast. Because there was that switch that I could hit on the uh, top of the farmhouse. Might as well go have a quick peek. Now there's that whole section over there that can only be done at night. That, I believe, is the location of... Oops. Ah, nighttime only. Okay, gotcha. 
So I'm gonna take one last quick little peek over to here. There are also the tiny bananas. I need to remember to get those. But this is a Diddy Kong section, so I'm just gonna make sure I have all the things. And banana metal, nice. Oh, and yellow. Good thing I thought to check back there. So I'm gonna take a quick check. What's up here? Is it just random things? This to be just random things. Okay. So let's get the quick, tiny bananas before I absolutely forget. And then I think it's time for the sun to set. DK. All right, where's that warp pad? I need to get back. Aha. Now, time, time to change the clock. So for this one, it's just a switch that anyone can press. And the clock goes haywire and controls the weather around it, and now we are at night time. Don't get scared now. So now even the enemies around here will be more night time variant. So like, I think the bat, there are bats that replace singers, uh, mechanical crocs, just, it is a very, uh, it's a very night time exploration setup. So yeah, even uh, even that entrance into the farm is uh, blocked off. You can only do all that during the day. But we got that all taken care of. If I'm right, even uh, getting into Snide's area over there is daytime restricted. So while I'm over here, I might as well do Diddy's challenge as well. All right, we are doing good. We are doing good. Diddy Kong. In we go. think. Does this summon a Squawks to be a light? Yes. And of course, they put a bunch of other things around here, too. The camera can just play nice. <laughs> Who needs to walk? Apparently, I do. <laughs> I need to get good. I will need that. Oh, hopefully that, uh, that counts. Aha! So once again, only the platformy part of that counts. Other than that, nothing. There we go. Close. Just get you moving. Okay, so it looks like you still have one balloon's worth of bananas left. I think I know where it would be, too. It's another... It's the challenge spot on top of the farmhouse! I fell over again. 
Well, I got the bananas on the side, so I really just have to focus on getting the golden. And we can cheese it. Of course, this one's not straight up against the wall either. But there we go. And Banana Fairy! Where are you? I've got so much flying around me here, I can't even see! Nope, you're still fluttering around. I might have to... Yeah, these bats are just messing me. I'll just restart that. Why not? That's an easy way to make it work. <laughs> Alright. With that horrific incident of terror over, let's leave. Alright. Let's get over here, because I know there was the switch to press. And then we still have to get in there as Tiny. Yeah, someone who never liked to come to this part at night the fact that that switch would only press down during the nighttime fooled the ever living daylights out of me. Oops, that I think has to come later. Uh... Okay, well you are you are being very fast. Get a few homing shots here. Get you? Okay, that's a start. Now can I... Ah. Okay, so that's what... That was. Now I can press you. I don't know that it should give me a thing for Diddy. Okay, well, good thing it's nighttime. Okay. Well, that's all the colored bananas for Diddy. Works for me. Now, I need to make my way to... Oh, that was close. I need to make my way over there. Now then. Let's just open up the cage. Yes, it does in very explosive fashion. Almost makes me wonder why they did that. Like, you could have just had a banana there. Okay, well we got that, but I might as well just keep exploring in that one spot there. Gotta do a little work as DK. some work to do on the inside here, but I think there are some things outside. Yes. So I need... I need DK's barrel ability to be able to do some work with these thorny bushes. Thorny vines. 
I'm not scared of you. There we are. Blueprint acquired. Who are you? Tiny. Alright, so we still have a little bit more to go for her, but I think it's just a lot of her single bananas hiding in the barn house. So I'm okay with that. That one's easy. Okay, so it looks like... So this side? Yes. Okay, so if it wasn't around the back side, it's here. So this would let us walk through and on top of vines. Alright. We're through. Let's go. So I have a batch of five colored bananas left to get. Hopefully they're in here. We'll find out in a second. I might as well take out my uh, Viking-inspired friend here. Now, what else do we have in here? Over there. Now, there's coins. Banana fairy. Okay. Gotcha. All right, so that that screams to me this was just Banana Fairy, but I feel like there's something more here. It's gotta be a, there. We are another switch. Hmm. Funny that one's green, unless the coloring is bad. But that was the other batch of five I was looking for. And of course, everything has to be on a time limit. All right, what mini game will I have to go through this time? Oh no, more mine carts. This one I think I'll have two TNT barrels. Good luck me. Just play. Okay, they're both on the middle track now. That's good. You went to the inside. You're on the outside. Oops, I think I angled that one improper. Let's try again. Welcome to bonus stage. Please work. That's all I want. Let's so go up here. Let's just let's just go to the inside here real fast. All right. Take these a hot minute to get out, but I think I need to quickly. Yep, I need to quickly loop around. Here, there we go. Okay, we'll get you to go on the outside, which is good. And now you should not be able to catch me in two seconds. A winner is me! There we go. That takes care of that one. I think I'll only have one more of those to deal with in the future. But there we go. And we know that DK still has to hand in the blueprint, so that makes technically the fifth banana. Good job. Okay, so we can now leave here. I don't think there's anything on the roof. At least I don't remember ever going on the roof. What do I still have left? 
you have all yours, you have all yours, you're missing four bunches, you're still missing a balloon, and you have all your stuff. Okay. Oops. Don't long jump into the vines. Okay. So Lanky still needs to get inside the barn house too. There is the upper entrance. All right. In we go. Oh yes. I will go through here because I think this will also grant me another batch of five once I get on the other side, but I will need both. Maybe that was just coins. Who knows? Maybe it's inside the switch. There we go. Up and over. So it is over here that I want to go. All right. Well, we got a little mini boss to deal with here. For anyone who doesn't like spiders, I'm sorry, but I must defeat this one. Yum, yum. Yum, yum indeed. <laughs> Wakes up, says yum yum, and then goes back to sleep. Alright, where are... There you are. Oops. Oh, I'm slowed. But... Hey now. I think that was it. Seems pretty easy so far. I swear this was a lot harder. Okay, there was more rounds than three. And more spiders than three. Frozen? But spiders can't use ice beam. Both of them? No. All right, I think one more round. Knockout, one more. There we go. Everyone knows that cutscenes denote the end of the round. Now I gotta take you out. Golden Banana. Where'd you go? Right there. All right, Tiny. Uh, you just need one more batch of five regular purples and that's it. Where would your last batch of purples be? Hopefully not back at the mushroom. I'm gonna take a quick look around here. Let's be sure. Oh, that's fine. Ooh, I hope I did not overlook something. I'll have to keep an eye out. 
Maybe I took the wrong pathway through? No, this would be the way outside the barn. I'm gonna go through the other way here real fast. Take a quick gander around the area. Cause... Oh, I got all her uh, color bananas. Who am I? Uh... Glad I looked. So what was it that, of hers that I still needed? No, hers was finished. You still need the one balloon that's probably in your other challenge spot. And I have at least two more things to do with Diddy, because I've already handed in Diddy's blueprint. One of those is an owl race. I have to remember where the other one is. Might as well use the tag barrel here. Lanky! I hope that now that I'm saying this out loud, it's not randomly something back in the central area that does require the, uh... the jetpack that was there. We'll see. I am gonna have to do a little exploration then. Alright, but... In we go! Oh, did I get that? I hope I got that. I did get it! Okay, so other batch of five in here somewhere? Maybe? Question... There we are. Alright, that's every colored banana. Where'd you go? Ow. Oh, Diddy Kong can get in here. Okay, interesting. Huh, thanks for landing. You made that easy for me. All right, now you are still missing something. Interesting. Might I have to go back? Oh, wow. How fast I forget things. I can't finish this level with you right now. You have to stay at four. There's the exit. All right. Now with that, Diddy Kong is... Yeah, you just have to hand in your blueprint, so you're done. Diddy Kong is the only one I've got left. And you, at the very least, need to do a jetpack race with an owl. So let's go take a look into that. Diddy Kong! Time for you to fly. Hey now! <laughs> Silly bat! Oh, maybe it's not time to fly yet. But there is a sleeping owl in here, right? Yes. Roosts in the tree for a nice evening nap until I rock out on my guitar and wake it up. I don't speak to anyone without wings. Come back when you can fly. Well, funny you should say that. It just so happens I do have the ability to fly. Hopefully you give me... Let's see if you can fly through my course of around the tree. Here we go. 
just like the vulture in the desert. Seems like I can just keep myself level. Okay, it's the ones where we have to go down that I have trouble with. miss that one. I can't get too far behind because you will have to restart if you get too far behind. Okay, at least I'm catching up. Only two rings. One ring. Alright. Ooh, now we have to get real low to the ground. Sometimes it's better just to uh, get your height and then get your uh, distance. Should have made the course harder, but I suppose you've earned a prize. And after all that, we got a minigame barrel. That's not fair. All right. Oh, time for Diddy to do the roundabout shooting. Oh, yes. So, it may not be immediately obvious, uh, but the uh, weapons actually do have different strengths. So, I, I believe Diddy and Tiny's are the weakest. Lanky is kind of in the middle. DK's is maybe slightly stronger. And Chunky is the strongest. So, as you saw with the first minigame, I could knock all these uh, Kremlings out in one hit. These ones are taking two. <laughs> Not today. Two, one. Okay, we got through it. All right, now I gotta figure out where is Diddy's last banana? I have one idea, but we'll see if I'm right. I'm not going to turn it to daytime just yet, because I can turn it to daytime to go see Snide. But we're going to hold off on that for now. Because there was the jetpack here. I do want to test. So it wasn't this one. Then there is the other one. That's just the lanky coins, no big deal. Had to be something here. If that was an easy way to get up to the clock, I could understand that. I feel like there had to be something. So if not this one, then I think has to do with the other mushroom. Could be wrong, but I do believe there was a jetpack barrel hiding somewhere in this world. Or this level part, anyways. Okay, nothing up on that one. That was an exit. Okay. Maybe there was something to do in the mushroom section? Have I handed in my blueprint? I have handed in my blueprint, so I am actually looking for one. Interesting. Maybe I might have to do a little bit of further exploration after all. Let's head back to the Mushroom Tower. 
There's gotta be something I could do over there. There was nothing that screamed had to be done with Diddy Kong in the other section. That's Tag Barrel. That's cranky. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't have to defeat you. I just have to get by you. So maybe there was something that I did need Diddy's jetpack explicitly for here. Let's find out. Splat. That's the way in. This is the way up. Where am I going? Wow, did I, like, get caught on something? Aha! Good thing I thought to check here. Alright. Easy game. 25 seconds of 1, 2, 3, reload. 1, 2, 3, reload. 1, 2, 3, reload. You get the point. And just like that, Fungi Forest is a, as done as it can get, other than a boss. Which, after I go hand in the blueprint, we'll go tackle the boss. And I am not looking forward to it, because it is my least favorite boss in this game, for reasons outside of difficulty. I'll get into that story in a bit. Anyways, Donkey Kong! Take the plunge. Belly flop. Come on. Jump. Uh, oh, other side. There we go. Back to the central. Nighttime's been fun and all. But I much prefer the daytime here. go. Now, thankfully, they only play the cutscene of this happening directly once. After that, it just... You you maintain control. It just to show that, hey, like, this is nighttime, this is daytime. Okay. So, number one, right here. Perfect. Now, let's go hand in a blueprint, and then get the heck out of Fungi Forest. For now. And good thing, there is a Trough and Scoff portal right next to this. One hundred and thirty-eight, my goodness. There's only two more full-on worlds to deal with after this. This is amazing that we're making such good progress. All right. Three hundred on the dot. Works for me. So yeah, we've only got 
uh, Crystal Caves and Creepy Castle after this. Uh, one level is definitely my favorite. I, I'm really looking forward to Crystal Caves. Um, like, I like... I like a lot of the earlier levels in DK64, and maybe that's just because there's like uh, so many, like you, it's the first levels you get, they're the easiest, the maybe like the easiest platforming to do. Like they they stand out as being like fun and like memorable and you just, you like them. But I remember uh, liking Crystal Caves a lot when I first got there. So I, uh, I got a lot of fond memories of it. It's gonna be a very, uh, uh, difficult level to explore. A lot of, lot of moving parts that need to just get into place. But uh, once we get to Crystal Caves, I'll be pretty happy. But in order to get to Crystal Caves, gotta make our way through this boss. And this boss, as I alluded to a little while ago, is my least favorite boss in the entire game. I hate it even more than the uh, the aquatic boss of Gloomy Galleon, whose name I still don't know off the top of my head. Uh, so this boss here is effectively a repeat boss. It's uh, it'll be a return appearance of Dogadon from Angry Aztec, only a tougher challenge this time, and we're doing it as Chunky. But there's so many more gimmicks to this particular fight, including a section I absolutely hate. But we'll get to that in just a moment. I have to wonder if Dogadon was like, if this is like Dogadon returning from the lava, or this is uh, you're just hiding on the wall. And Chunky's like, oh no, please don't hurt Chunky. Too bad I'm gonna hurt ya. So here we go again. Fireball Frenzy. Are you gonna land? You are gonna land. No, are you gonna do you're gonna do something extra for the next round, are you not? It's close. Okay. Nothing out of the ordinary yet. Now, some people who have never played this game before might be going, Oh, this doesn't look so hard. What's different? Get ready. It's about to get a lot more intense. As you can see, anyone like a wall of fire? I'm not even sure there's a way to dodge that, or at least I've never really attempted. Okay, and if I'm right, I think this is the part I hate. Yep, this is the part I hate. I'll get into the story in a little bit, but now we're on a sinking platform. Here we go. Time limit's on. Let's begin. That was 10 hits, I think. Not bad. Yes. 13, 16, 19. Okay, we're up to 19. Okay, I got one more round, maybe. And 
this'll be it. Okay. <laughs> that's it. We get past that, that's it. That's that's the end of the boss fight. But um Okay. <laughs> let me just let me just catch my breath there. <laughs> do you even realize you're on fire? Okay, you do. You just got that uh sinking feeling. Oh, okay. I can catch my breath here for a second. You see how close that got? If that platform landed in there, we would have had to do the boss fight over again, and I, I, I wouldn't have liked that. I wouldn't have liked that at all. Um, okay, well, I've got this, uh, well, I got this chance to just calm down here. Um, okay, so the reason I hate this boss, like, there is that, it's that time limit thing. Just, like, the fact that you have so little time, it's very hectic. And I, I know that doesn't scream like, oh, it's the most difficult boss. As an adult, it's not, like, the worst. I know exactly what needs to be done, and I can execute and get it done, no problem. When I was a kid, however, and I just realized how many times I've had a story to start with when I was a kid. When I was a kid, trying to do this boss for the first time, I struggled so hard to defeat this boss. I, no matter what, like, I could get through, I could get through the fireball volleys, no problem. The flame wall, okay, maybe it, that took me by surprise, but I could at least get through. But then we get to this here, and it was so difficult for me to actually just, like, zone in and be like, okay, five fireballs, chuck a TNT barrel, wallop on Dogadon, and rinse and repeat. So many elements that were just not working out for me that I actually could not beat this boss. Like, I'd either fall off the platform, I would run out of time, like, just whatever it was, I couldn't do it. I still remember a really good friend of mine who was just visiting at the time, like, we were we were into N64 games at the time, and I was telling him about uh, this boss that I was struggling with. So, uh, he says, let me have a shot at it. And first try takes Dogen on out. And I'm I'm not sure if he had beaten Dogadon before. I'm not entirely sure, so I won't say that might have been the case of experience. But he went in. He took care of it, no problem. And by beating this boss, it was the first time I had ever gotten to experience Crystal Caves. And thankfully, I didn't struggle any further after that. It was just this one boss that caused me so much grief that will forever be my least favorite boss of this game. <laughs> And then even funnier too, um, still in my era of I don't like to explore dark places in games thing, uh, it was around the time I was still playing uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for the first time, and I never liked exploring Hyrule Field at night. There was just so many elements to it that I'm just like, nope, 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 not gonna do this. And I had reached a point where it was uh, nighttime in Hyrule Field, and I had saved as Child Link. So this was still in my early era of playing uh, uh, Ocarina of Time, and I didn't know any of the mechanics of the game. So I saved when it was nighttime, and it saved me in uh, uh, Kokiri Forest at night. And I knew that nighttime Kokiri Forest was dark, but there were no enemies. It was fine. But going out to Hyrule Field, I never liked dealing with the stall children. So I was too scared to actually go into Hyrule Field. Come along this same friend who's like, no worries, I'll get you through this. And uh, helped me survive Hyrule Field long enough to uh, uh, get it back to daytime and I could continue the adventure from that. I, I still... Uh, I was able to get through the rest of the game just fine at that point, because then I got the Sun Song, and it's like, hey, guess who's never playing Hyrule Field at night ever again, thanks to the Sun Song. But to this day, that memory of my friend who uh, helped me through both Ocarina of Time and DK64, especially beating Dokadon, because that was the roadblock that kept me from uh, doing this game, forever stuck with me. So... If you ever watch this, friend, thank you very much.
I'm not naming any names, but I know the friend of mine, if he ever watches this, he'll know it was him. So, thanks again. But there we go. That is the entryway to Crystal Caves. And this also gets me to Creepy Castle. Now, because I just remembered that Creepy Castle gets unlocked at this point, I am going to do a little bit of a tech play here. I'm going to go to Creepy Castle, get that unlocked. And by going to Creepy Castle, that also lets me do things uh, with power-ups and abilities uh, when I go to World 6. So, I think there is also... Yeah, there's... Yeah, I have to do that. So I have to press that with Diddy... Or Donkey to get Diddy's overworld blueprint. And I think Chunky has to lift a barrel to get Lanky onto the top. So I'm gonna go do that. So, here we go. We'll start with Donkey Kong. Clip through the walls, why don't you? So we got that unlocked. Oh no! <laughs> Thank goodness that just respawns me back in here anyway. But I'm not sure if that took care of the gate. So we're not gonna waste time going over with DK again. No. That did uh, reclose it. Darn. Couldn't take care of that with the boulder. Alright. Lanky, let's get you over here. But it feels so good. To finally have Fungi Forest taken care of. Okay. <laughs> Not that I need more coins. My goodness, they uh, to bonus they overdid the DK mounts. Okay. Okay. Now you're going to be a little challenging. Got you. That's so why I almost hope I get the little clap traps here in a spot where I can, like, quickly hit them. Like, I feel like it takes longer for the watermelon to hit the ground on the farther spots, but it could just be me. Got you. Oh, where'd you go? One more. Gotcha! That takes care of that one! Alright, well everyone's doing pretty good for the overworld. Three apiece. I don't really need any more coins at this point, so I'm just gonna let that one slide. But I do still need to hit that switch. Uh, DK. No. And we'll stay far away this time. Not take a hit. Now we're gonna make this easy. Just wipe everything out on the field. And there we go. Well, it's everything to take care of in here. So now we're going to get World 7's flags set. <sighs> Must get out of here before Fatso discovers that the Kongs are recovering the blueprints to a stupid machine. Fatso, is it? 
I'd choose your last words more carefully if I were you. What's that? Who's there? <laughs> Any last requests? <laughs> Nearly there. I'm almost safe. Famous last words. I think not. <laughs> I am no longer for this world. Well, here we are. This is World 7 Creepy Castle. We'll get there eventually. Because now we've got World 7's power-ups available. Next time we return to World 5, uh, we'll be able to uh, purchase every upgrade that we need. And we'll be able to have all Kongs powered up with all of their abilities. And especially that one golden banana that I need to get. But that is going to be on the next episode. We've already gone through enough excitement here today. I want to be able to pad out the remaining portions of this now, right? So next time we come back, uh, we'll get that one banana in Fungi Forest, and we will begin our exploration into Crystal Cavern once we get ourselves up there. So that'll be for the next episode. But anyways, thank you very much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this escapade through my least favorite level in the game. Well, actually, that goes to Gloomy Galleon, least favorite boss. Hope you enjoyed my boss fight with my least favorite boss in the game. And as always, take care, stay safe, and have a good day.